This one's a good one if you have a countertop you could hold on to. If balance is kind of tricky for you, um, that's a good thing to hold on to so you can learn how to shift your weight. So we're going to start to the side, a lap, same double heel, the back heel. So my foot that did the flaps, my front heel. So this is my back heel. Heel, heel. I lift my toe up. I'm going to pull it backwards. Pull or a spank. Heel, toe, heel. Now I'll tell you a secret. If this knee is straight, this becomes really challenging. So you have to keep that knee bent. That's where your balance is going to come from and your control. All right? So let's try part two of that again. Pull, heel, toe, heel. Again, pull, heel, toe, heel. Again, pull, heel, toe, heel. Going to the other side, we start with our flap, double heel. Flap, back, front. Same ending, pull, heel, toe, heel. Pull, heel, toe, heel. Again, pull, heel, toe, heel. Again, pull, heel, toe, heel. So we'll put that together. Flap, double heel, pull, heel, toe, heel. Ready, we go. Ba, lap, heel, heel, pull, heel, toe, heel. Ba, lap, heel, heel, pull, heel, toe, heel. Ba, lap, heel, heel, pull, heel, toe, heel. Ba, lap, heel, heel, pull, heel, toe. All right, that's you decide which ones you want to do and keep practicing those steps, okay? So, we know basic shim sham. We go one, two, three, ball change four. One, two, this is the ball change sandwich, ball change four. Again, one, two, three, ball change four. Last practice, one, two, three, ball change four. Right? So the next practice movement would be replacing the heel dig with a stomp. Okay? So it would go like this stomp, step, stomp, step, stomp, ball change, stomp, 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 ball change, stomp. If the heel dig is better for you, keep practicing with the heel dig. If you're ready to move on to the stomp, practice the stomp. Ready? Six, seven, I'm going to stomp. One, two, three, ball change, four. One, two, three, ball change, four. Last two practices this way. And last set, two, three. All right, so now to progress that to the version that's most commonly done, instead of just going stomp, we're going to go stomp, pull, stomp, pull. So as soon as you put that foot on the floor, you have to flex your toe up. Now, not really big, just a little bit so you can make this sound. So let's just practice that stomp, pull a little bit. So we're going to soften those knees, stomp, pull. Good. Let's go to the other side. Ready? We have stomp, pull, good. Two more. Okay. So now we replace heel dig and stomp with stomp, pull, step. And it happens pretty quick. Let's practice it slow. Ready? We have stomp, pull, step, stomp, pull, step, stomp, pull, ball, change, stomp, pull, step. And again, if that pulls too much, just go back to stomp or heel dig. Stomp, pull, step, stomp, pull, step, stomp, pull, ball, change, stomp.
Okay, so again, go back to this one if that one feels more comfortable, okay? Then at the end, there's a thing called a break. And the break is when we change things up a little bit to give a little break, to make something a little different. So the break for the shim sham goes like this. I will turn around. I'll show you and then we'll learn it. So after we do our We're going to do three, touch, we're going to come forward, looks pretty fancy, let's break it down, okay, so we do three sets of shim sham, on the third set, instead of doing a full step and transitioning your weight, you need to do a tap, so we're just going to tap that, so then we step forward, step, Toe, step. Let's just do that again. Ready, and step, toe, step. Ready, again, step, toe, step. Now, this step is going to repeat again later on. It's always on the right foot, so you do not need to learn the left foot, although it's always good practice to try both. So, whatever foot you're on, I can't tell which way you're going in your room, so make sure you're doing the right foot. Right foot steps, left foot toes. Left foot steps. Again, ready, and step, toe, step. Put your weight on that left foot. Two hop steps. Hop, step, and the foot kind of travels backwards. Hop, step. Two more step, steps. Step, step. Step, toe, step, hop, step, hop, step, step, step. So let's try that nice and slow again. Step, toe, step. Put your weight on it. Hop. Step, hop, step, two more steps. Ready, full thing. Step, toe, step, hop, step, hop, step, step, step. Ready, again. Step, toe, step, hop, step, hop, step, step, step. Okay, let's try it by adding the shim sham step before it. I will do the simple shim sham for now, and then later I'll practice the more challenging ones so everybody gets a chance to practice the whole thing. So I'm going to start with just my heel digs. Ready? I'm going to go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Third one. Three, ball change, four, touch, step, toe, step. Did you make it? I hope you did. All right, let's practice with stomp pulls. Ready, or just, just stomps, not stomp pulls. Ready, we have a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, ball change, four. Last one. Stomp, touch, step, toe, step. All right, stomp pulls. Here we go. Five, six, ready, and a one. This is the third one. We're going to end with a touch. Step, toe, step. All right, now. I'm going to go ahead and teach step two. There's four steps in the shim sham. Let me check on our time. Do, 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 do. Okay. So I'm going to teach steps one and steps two today. And then next week we'll add on three and four. Okay. So step two, and then we'll practice with music. Step two, we do a little rocking horse step. So we're going to, we just did step, step. So we're kind of equal weight. We're going to shift to the side and we're going to step forward on our right foot. Forward. Backward, forward, backward. Let's do that again from equal weight. Front, front. One time. Ready, and we're going to do one more step forward. Step. We're going to do a scuff, which is the very tip of the heel in the back. It kind of feels like you're kicking your leg forward. Scuff. Step, scuff, pop, step, step. Do that again. 
So we went forward, backward, forward, backward, step, scuff, pop, step, step. Do it again. Ready, and one, two, step, scuff, pop, step, step. Guess what? We're going to go to the left. Left, 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 scuff, pop, step, step. Do the left side again. Ready, and the left, left, step, scuff, pop, step, step. All right, let's do right, then left. We just finished the break. Step, toe, step, pop, step, pop, step, step. We're going to do step two, forward rock. Forward, forward, step, step, pop, step, step. Forward, forward, step, step, pop, step, step. All right. Now, we're going to do a break with that step two pattern. So I'm going to teach you the break, and then we'll put it all together. So the break is simply... We take out the rocking step. So first we did rocking, rocking, rock the other way. One more step. Step, step, pop, step, step. So if we take out the rocking step, the step is just step, scuff, pop, step, 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 scuff, pop, step. The last one doesn't have a second step. So that break looks like this. Step, scuff, pop, step, 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 scuff, pop, wait. And you kind of wait in the peepee -pee dance with the legs crossed and the knees bent because the next step's going to be surprise, right? So we want to be here to go surprise. Let's try just the break again. We should be going on the left foot. So we're going to go step, scuff, pop, step, step. Step, 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 pop, wait. Surprise. We'll go to the surprise too because it's fun. Okay, step two. Rocking motion. Ready and front. Front, step, 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 pop, step, step. Left, left, step. One more time. Step, step. Okay, here's the break, two step, scuff, step, scuff, pop, step, 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 scuff, pop, wait, surprise. Maybe practice a couple of other things we did earlier, and then we'll do a little uh, finishing. So, time step. This is all about your weight changes. You have to know when you're putting the whole weight on it, and when you're rebounding or lifting it back up into the sky, okay? So, soften those knees. We're going to start with stomp. And it comes back up. Hop, step. Let's do that again. Stomp, hop, step. Other side. Stomp, hop, step. Again. Stomp, hop, step. Stomp, hop, step. Two more. Okay, that's part one. Part two is a flap step. So after we do our stomp, I'm going to do a flap, put my weight on it, step, put my weight on it, and that takes me into the stomp. So that's the hardest part right there. Flap, step, stomp. Let's try that. Ready? Flap, step, stomp. Ready? Again. Flap, step, stomp. Find your weight. Left, right, left. Ready? Again. Let's go to the other side. I'll turn this way so you can see it. Ready, and. Ready, again. Ready, again. One more time. Okay. So now when we put it all together, stomp, hop, step, flap, step, stomp, hop, Step so it repeats on both sides. So we're going to start on the right foot for me. You guys choose which foot you're starting on. Bend the knees. Stomp, hop, step, flap, step, stomp, flap, step, stomp, hop, 
step, flap, step, stomp, flap, step, stomp, pop, step, flap, step, stomp, pop, step. All right, let's try it again. I'm going to start with my left foot this time. Ready? And. Weight change. Make sure this one picks up. Put it down. Pick it up. Put it down. Two more. Last one. All right, that's your single time step. All right.